All right, welcome to another edition of the Alumni Zoom Room with Bristol Bayhawks Athletics. I'm Derek Viveris, Director of Athletics and Recreation at Bristol Community College. And we'll be hosting a series of discussions highlighting former Bristol Community College student athletes. Uh, before I introduce today's guest, I just want to remind everybody that you can find th these sessions and um, all of our student athlete planning series uh, recordings on our athletics website at bristolccbayhawks.com. Uh, today's guest, we have a two-year member of our men's soccer program back in 2011 and 2012. We have uh, Jake Dompierre. Jake, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Derek. I appreciate you having me. Yeah, glad to have you here. Uh, Jake, if you, don't, if you don't mind, just uh, just give us a little bit of back background on yourself. Let us know who, who you are and uh, what you're all about. Sure. Uh, well, my name is Jacob Dompierre. I grew up in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. Um, I went to Fairhaven High School, graduated there in 2011. Um, then I decided to go to BCC to pursue a complementary healthcare degree. Um, I got that. Worked in the hospital for a little bit with that degree. Um, went back to BCC again and earned a certificate um, in central processing technician. Um, under the operating room at St. Luke's. And most recently, I graduated from the nursing program at Bristol Community College and uh, luckily got a job at St. Luke's Hospital in the emergency department, and that's where I am now. That's great. Uh, I know the, the nursing program Program uh, uh, on the front lines. You've been on the front lines here uh, through the throughout the pandemic uh, over at St. Luke's. Um, can you tell me a little bit about you know what what that experience has been like? Yeah, it's been pretty interesting as a new graduate nurse to go right into the emergency department, and then never mind you're new in the ER. It's uh, you have a pandemic on top of it, so it's a pretty big learning curve, but. You know, as a new nurse, it's also a really good opportunity to care for these uh, critical patients in the time that we're in right now. Um, yeah, and BCC prepared me pretty well for that. Uh, the nursing program has been amazing, so thank them for that. That's great, great. Um, did I see, did I see uh, um, uh, an exciting announcement uh, today on, on Facebook? <laughs> yeah, you might have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was um, that all about? Yeah, I just recently decided to go back to school again because I haven't had enough. Um, <laughs> and I got accepted <laughs> to Southern New Hampshire University. So I'll be doing their um, RN to BSN and it's actually an accelerated MSN if I decide to go further, um, which I think I will, but we'll see. Uh, so I was really excited about that to get accepted there. Awesome, SNHU? Yeah, Southern New Hampshire, yep. Yeah, that's that's where I went. That's where I graduated from. Yeah, uh, good good place. Good place. Um, so so Jay, well, while you were at Bristol, um, we were just talking before we before we started the interview. Uh, you played a couple of years of soccer, but I also I, I it slipped my mind that you also played tennis. What was um, what was that experience like playing uh, playing two sports? Yeah, it it can be a, a big challenge, you know. Um, balancing athletics and you know work because you have bills of course and you know at, at the college level uh and keeping the grades up it's a really tough balance but you know i just love sports so much i couldn't pass up on that and i just had to try and balance it as best as i could and keep the grades up so i was happy to do that um and get that experience i just decided to play tennis i had never played tennis in my life but decided to go play college tennis because you know why not? And um, wanted to pick it up. Awesome, awesome. And and your your brother also attended Bristol. Is that right? Yeah, he did. Yep, my brother Alec. He uh, played soccer there as well. And and you missed you missed playing with him. I think by a year, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, we got to play a couple years in high school together, but uh, I missed playing with him. Yeah, it was about a year difference. Um, what you know? Tell tell me a little bit about you know what was if you if you look back on your your two years playing soccer is there a you know is there a moment 
at, at, at Bristol that kind of stands out and you kind of look back and say, yeah, that was, that was pretty cool uh, experience on the soccer field. What, is there anything that stands out to you? Yeah, I would, I would definitely, there's, there's a few actually. Um, I, after I played, um, I went and was an assistant coach for a year at BCC as well. Um, and then we actually got second place. Um, I think we had lost to Bunker Hill in a really close game. Um, but as far as playing moments, um, there was a game in Roxbury, which was my favorite place to play because it was a little bit chaotic and just the atmosphere was really cool. But I had scored uh, in the 90th minute in extra time and we tied the game. And then we went to overtime and we won in overtime. So it was just really cool. The atmosphere was awesome. And to win away in that type of environment was really cool. It's awesome. Awesome. And I, I think you led the league, the, the, uh, the team in scoring one year, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I, uh, the sophomore year, I earned MVP, which I was really honored to get um, for the college season for soccer. So that was a really cool moment as well for me. Cool. That's awesome. Awesome. Um, you kind of mentioned it a little bit already, uh, but is there is there anything in particular uh, during your time at Bristol that that's just really prepared you, uh, whether it's for your job or just just life in general that that um, also stands out to you? Yeah, I think one of the things I like the most about BCC um, not only is it really help money wise, you know, it's it's really cost effective in that sense. Um, you know, you can you're able to go to work and go to school. But um, aside from that, uh, I would say the professors and all the staff, you know, you get to know them after a certain period of time and they were so helpful and they always guided me to my goals and encouraged me. And I was really thankful for that because, you know, there's some really great staff at BCC. Great stuff, Jacob. Um, and, and then just, just a final question for you before we, before we take off. Um, you know, what advice, do you have any advice that you would give to any current or future student athletes at Bristol Community College? Yeah, I would still encourage you to go for it um, when you're, uh, you know, deciding, oh, should I do athletics uh, at the same time as balancing my schoolwork, you know, because I understand that some of the programs are extremely challenging, um, especially the nursing program, but it can be done and, you know, don't put off sports and something you love. Um, try and just go for it and see how it goes. Oh, it's usually a couple of years at BCC and just try and enjoy the moment as best you can. Awesome, so uh, there, there you have it. Uh, Jacob Dampierre, uh, two year member of the men's soccer program, uh, one year member of our men's tennis program and, <laughs> um, and, and one season as an assistant coach in the men's soccer program. So. Uh, wore many hats while he was here and, and got his nursing degree, so it can be done. Um, well, Jacob, you know, we really appreciate, um, you know, your service on the front lines through this, this pandemic and, and everything you've done um, in that area. We appreciate that. Uh, we appreciate taking some time to spend with us today. And, um, you know, just congratulations on the success you've had, and I'm sure there's more uh, to come in the future. So uh, thanks again. Thank you, Derek. I appreciate you for having me.